Good day, dear students of grade 11 taking up UCSP, Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics. This week of uh, cycle 2 or week 2 of our lesson in UCSP, we are going to discuss human evolution toward human cultural development. This is the first topic for this week and we will focus more on the human evolution and particularly this is the study of uh, anthropology or the, uh, the human evolution is under the study of anthropology. Physical or biological anthropology is a scientific discipline concerned with biological and behavioral aspect of human beings. Their, their extinct uh, hominin ancestors and related non-human uh, primates, particularly from an, evolution, uh, an evolutionary perspective, which means the start of human being according to scientific discipline, which is anthropology through biological behavioral aspects, explain to us the origin of man. And of course, we know a lot of theories about the origin of man, particularly the theory of Charles Darwin, which is the evolution of man. Climatology, however, specialized field or a specialized field for the deriving and understanding of the human evolutionary record. This is a, the record of uh, the primates or the, the evolution of man from a um, specific animal which was considered to be the origin of man. And also our great philosophers talk about um, the notion that all living things from a single graded continuum going from more perfection to less perfection. This means man from its perfect um, evolution and then going to its progress as he or she evolve. That means we are prone for um, imperfection or less perfection. Usher, the archbishop who calculated the date of God's creation, however, he said that it, is what, it was exactly 4004 BC. Uh, the time that uh, God created the, uh, the universe and, and man. This was the year that God supposedly created Adam and formed his rib, uh, rib and to Eve. Humans were seen as little lower than angels. The change of beings, a connection of the parts from the Supreme God down to the last remains of, of things mutually linked together without a break and the illustration you can uh, you see in the uh, picture or in the PowerPoint reveals about the hierarchy of uh, the creation of, of God or in, in in a sense this was explained by some theologians or even scientists the the manner and progress uh, the latter represents, of course, on how the hierarchy being presented in creationism. Therefore, creationism against evolution, creationism, of course, this belief that the living in the universe or the living organism originate from specific acts of divine creation as the biblical account, or account in biblical. And evolution is the process by which different kinds of living organisms are thought or are, are thought to have developed and diversified from earlier forms during history of Earth. This is the illustration of creation versus evolution. Example Paul's of creationism believes in a God who is absolute creator of heaven and earth out of nothing by an act of free will and such a deity is generally thought to be transcendent, meaning beyond human experience, and constantly involved, imminent in the creation, ready to intervene as necessary and without whose constant concern the creation would cease or disappear. Evolution, Darwin theory, of course, is the, the, the popular evolution of man, 
technically by natural selection is one of the best substantiated theories in the history of science supported by evidence from a wide variety of scientific disciplines, including the paleontology, geology, genetics, and development of biology. This was, of course, um, developed by Brian Richmond. Uh, he has two theories or main points about this. And then uh, about the evolution, I would like to emphasize Homo erectus is a species of first. It was the first of our relatives to have human-like body proportions. And most likely, Asians are regarded to be the, the hairs or the original um, Homo of Asians are the Homo erectus. The Homo erectus species showed it evolutionary progress in the road to humanity with their use of fire uh, and domestication like hunting and domestication dogs and animals. The primates, the early hominids and the homo sapiens. Uh, what are primates? The primates uh, actually arose in 85-86 years ago first as a uh, uh, Leisha the deformis from small terrestrial mammals. And this was um, discovered uh, 85 or 86 years ago. The different uh, types and order of primates. And it was divided into two groups, the Persimians and the primates early hominids and homo sapiens, the anthropoid. This is, the, I think, the, the world map where primates are found and then these are the uh, illustration or, of or the blueprint illustration of primates again i said there are two types prosthians and anthropoids primates of the early hominids and the homo sapiens homo sapiens was applied in 1758 by the father of modern biology of classifications like Linnaeus and then he explained about uh, Homo sapiens and uh, its uh, different origins and explained of course the origin of species uh, he said that uh, it would come one and one years later okay for the moment our first topic evolution of man I explained to you the different theories and concepts about the evolution of man. I know that you know a lot about the origin of man in your science or biology class and as well as in your AP class. We shall continue for the next topic after lesson one of week two. Thank you.